Hi there. This is Tanju again. Today I will give you the details of my unique solar tracker. I spent quite a bit of time on solar trackers because I believe and I have proven that if you move your solar panel to follow the sun and always face the sun perpendicularly, you will get an efficiency improvement of almost 20% during the day compared to the static solar panels. Electronics and software code was never a problem, but mechanically I faced many problems. The biggest of the challenges was this. I kept breaking motor treadmill couplings. The reason was the straight line motion of the threaded mill attached to the motor was not matching the circular arc motion of the panel plane. So somehow I had to convert the straight line motion to a circular arc motion. I found the answer to my problem in the historical document of United States National Museum Bulletin on kinematics of mechanisms from the time of what? In the years of 1800s, profound scientists were all trying to solve my problem. <laughs> the problem of converting straight line motion to a circular motion. Of course, not for a solar tracker. The steam engine was invented by Mr. Watt. They were eager to use it on train locomotives to convert the straight line motion of the steam engine piston to rotary motion for the wheels of the locomotive. Many scientists had their own solutions. But the famous Russian mathematician Chebyshev's solution was the simplest of, for my application. Mr. Chebyshev invented this three-beam structure in 1867. This simple linkage structure works like this. So while the top beam's midpoint is moving in a straight line, the two ends of the same beam are moving in a circular arc. Mr. Chebyshev from 1800s solved my problem in the 2000s. I connected the treadmill bolt of the motor to the midpoint of the upper Chebyshev beam so the treadmill stayed in a straight line while the solar panel is in a, in a, on a circular arc course. As you have seen, I have two platforms of Chebyshev linkage beams on top of each other with 90 degree shift. One, of the, one, of, one for the elevation, up-down movement of, for the solar panel, and the other one for the azimut, east-west movement. The sensing mechanism for the sun's position is made up of four LDRs, light-dependent resistors. They are located on the quadrants of a cross-shaped shader panel. The average resistance of top left and top right LDRs are compared to the average of bottom left and bottom right LDRs. And the result is computed by an Arduino Uno to give instruction to a MOSFET H-bridge for the elevation angle motor to operate in the appropriate direction and stop when the two averages are equal or within a given tolerance. Similar arrangement for the azimut, east-west movement, but this time the average of top left and bottom left LDRs are compared to the top right and bottom right LDRs average, and the east-west motor moves in the appropriate direction. The Arduino code is very simple. Read the four LDR outputs in the form of voltages, then make the comparisons and instruct the H-bridge MOSFETs to become on or off 
for the motor to run in the required direction. After sunset, the panel turns to east and stops, ready for the next sunrise. The tolerances and sensitivities of LDRs are adjustable by the code. Here is the circuit diagram. On the right side, you see the azimuth control motor and H-bridge MOSFETs, two N-types and two P-types. On the left side, you see the elevation control motor and MOSFETs. Middle top, you see the four LDR, light dependent resistors, for the left, right and top bottom sensing. Bottom middle is the Arduino Uno computer, where four analog inputs are connected to four LDRs and four digital outputs connected to the two H-bridge circuits. The circuit is indeed very simple and works fine. Rest in peace, Mr. Chebyshev. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe.